Welcome to the 2016 NCHA Futurity. I'm here with the winner of the non-pro final, Austin Blake, who rode stuff in my pockets and scored a fantastic 224. Congratulations to you, Thank Austin. You. Thank you. First rider out, first set. You came in, blew them away. I take it that was the plan? Well, I was just trying to have a clean run. And, I mean, I wanted to do as good as I could, obviously, but I just wanted a clean run and let it happen, whatever happened. Tell us how that felt, that 224. Take us through it. Pretty dang good. That mare's a cowy, little crouchy. Like, I, I like that mare. And what did you do on each cow? Give, give us a description. Well, my first cow was over here on the side, like Billy Cogdell's booth over there, and I drove it up, kind of slipped it up there, and just trapped it in the middle, I guess. <laughs> and then my second cow was over here on the other side, and... I just drove it right up the outside and trotted in behind it, and same deal. And then my third third calf was kind of, I really honestly, I didn't even know that calf. There was two, like there's a red calf and a little black calf, and I knew I didn't like the red calf, and the black calf's in a better spot, so I just slipped it up there and tried to get along. Okay, now the, the tough thing about going first is that you've got to sweat it out with uh, everybody else coming after you. Uh, which was the um, rider horse combination you were most worried about? Because, like, Cade Smith last night got a 222 on his horse. No, I, I just wanted to do as good as I could. I mean, like, obviously everybody wants to win, but, like, I was just happy that I got my mare showed. Yeah. Tell us about your mare, uh, and how did you come up with that name? Well, I raised that filly and. I really, like when she was a colt, she used to run around and stop real hard and run around, and I thought it was kind of a funny name. Maybe dumb, but I liked it. <laughs> Have you got stuff in your pockets? I might. So um, what is it you like about her? Did you know that she was going to be, you know, a champion over this three-year-old year because it can be such a tricky year in their development? Well, to be honest with you, I was going to show that merit to small fraternities, and I had Lloyd Cox work her, and he said, hey, you might save this filly for Fort Worth because I just had her and her sister and that was the only two I had to bring down here and he said just save her for right there. And you got a third on the sister in the uh, limited non-pro correct? Yes ma'am. So two great horses that's pretty good effort to to breed and to make the finals and have success with. Yes, ma'am, they're both decent enough. Now, this is not the first time that you've won a major event in the Will Rogers here. You won the same event in 2010. Tell us about that. Well, that was on a one-time Pepto. That was the first batch of those, and that was the first time I made the fraternity finals, and I, I'm not very good at telling any more than that. Well, how does it feel? Does it diff- does that, is that a different feeling to how you felt with your first one? Well, you know, it's kind of cool raising her, you know, and they're two totally different kind of horses like that. First horse I won the fraternity on, like, he was run and stop real hard. And this mare can stop hard enough, but like her deal is she's just so cow smart. Is it more satisfying to know that you've won on a horse that you've bred? Yes, like I, I still own her mom and like it, it feels pretty good putting a produce record, you know, on her first set of colts here. Sounds like you'll have a sought after bloodline there. Thank you. You've just won almost $60,000. It's a great check. Any plans for that? Well, I have a good banker. And he's going to take it. Okay, and uh, perhaps a good night of celebration? Well, maybe tomorrow. Not tonight? No, not tonight. It's kind of late. Well, enjoy it. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you.